So, hi everyone, uh, my name is Wei. And my name is Yu. And today we are introduced our project, the push up trainer. And uh, this one is what we did in the past month. And uh, okay. That there are three modes basically uh, you see easy mode, hard mode, and record beat. So, the purpose of first two modes is uh, designed for different people group. Uh, first mode, we will actually have six sides. Each side will have five push up. The second mode has seven sides, each side with 15. And once you're done, you, you're done training. And here you also see uh, well, yes. sensors here. So, let's talk about this sensor. This sensor you put on your abdomen, right? You put near your navel. Uh, yeah, right. You can put it here or ground. Uh, they are actually. You put, it, you put it here, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, this, this position it will be perfect for this trainer. Mm -hmm. and and also, you can put on ground and use your body as a reflection. As a reflection, and let okay. the sensor detect the distance between so, your body so and ground. If, so, if this sensor says you're low, mm -hmm. and, the, and and this sensor you're actually going to touch your nose to, right? Yes. Yeah. So there's the uh, nose separate. target. Yes. Right. <laughs> so you touch your nose there, and your abdomen is low over that. Then your form must be correct. Right. Yes. Your, right. So your form. Is, so this is. So this helps you with form. Yes. And it also does the counting for you and keeps track of your, of your of your progress. Yes. Right. Because there's a there's memory that lasts the non volatile memory that keeps track of how how many how many you've done. You've done. Yeah. Right. So that you did okay. the training properly. You access your body. Okay. okay. Let's do some demo. Right? All right. So now so now put your hand over that to pretend you're down. Okay. Now you're gonna you're gonna press and it goes six five. Four, three, two, one. Uh, you done a side. Congratulations, you done one side. But okay, you, you are done. having a few second break, but you can also choose to touch it to exit if you're not tired at all. All right, so so it, after a few seconds, it'll come back with. Uh, all right, so to touch it then and go on to the next round. Yeah. Okay. Five. Oh, sorry, I didn't touch it. Five, four, four. Uh, let me touch it again. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Three. Oh. Two, one, my bad. So you you weren't quite low enough over the sensor over there, so I thought you were cheating, huh? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So. Yeah, that's another side. Okay, so for the for the person who wants to have help training, wants it doesn't want their their roommate screaming at them to keep their back straight. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is this will this will do it for you. And uh, it has kind of a nice high-tech flavor to it too. Could you program it? You could program it to do other things too, couldn't you? Yes. Do, you have, do you have any other ideas about this? Uh, about how to with the touch screen? I mean, it seems like you could. Yes. Uh, for the touch screen, uh, it's an actually uh, uh, analog. Uh, it provides analog vo voltage. It's a resistive touch screen overlay. So it has a y plus min y minus and mm -hmm. x x minus. Uh -huh. Once you apply voltage to the x direction, you read. You read the Y, and uh -huh. once you read Y, apply to Y voltage, and you read X. Uh -huh. So you need some switching me mm -hmm. mechanism. You use switching between the voltage supplies and read, because uh, sometimes y, y plus is taking five volts, sometimes it's outputting. So that right. that's how, and I need to do a, I have to code in this way so that it takes the input correctly. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you.